Hey, my name is Vince, and I'm a digital mod painter, environment generalist, and concept artist currently working in the visual effects industry at Dina Glumlum. I will be teaching you how to create this digital environment, taking it all the way from an initial concept stage to a full moving 3D digital matte painting utilizing advanced industry techniques that I have learned over the course of my career. During my time in the industry, I have worked on movies such as James Bond, Alice in Wonderland, Assassin's Creed, Wonder Woman, Fast and Furious, Avengers, Fantastic Beasts, Pacific Rim 2, and lately as a lead digital matte painter on Mission Impossible 6 and Wonder Woman 2. In my day to day work, I not only have to tackle the task of creating imaginative environments using a variety of 2D and 3D techniques, but I also have to make sure that above all else they look realistic and believable as if they were shot in real life. In this tutorial, I will talk in depth about advanced 2D and 3D techniques while also making sure that concepts are explained simply enough so that even a beginner artist can understand and follow along. We will look at ways to quickly generate large-scale conceptual environments single-handedly without needing to rely on a large team of artists. We will start off with scattering in order to create an initial composition during which time I will explore and discuss various techniques and queries and Maya in order to achieve the best results. We will look at creating decimation and sampling maps and combining more manual and automatic ways of creating a layout in order to achieve the best result in the fastest possible time. We will take a series of render passes and textures from Clarice into Photoshop and use them to create our conceptual paint over. You will learn how to take 2D elements from Photoshop and Nuke back into Clarice and reproject them as 3D elements. In addition, we will be creating some effects such as fog and cables in Houdini in order to flesh out our scene and lastly create our final composite shot in Nuke. Experience with the basic navigation of these softwares will help, but is unnecessary. My aim is to equip you with a variety of tools that you can use to create environments such as this. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use and combine all of these techniques in order to elevate your work to the professional movie industry standard. I'm really excited to be partnering with you exclusively in order to help my tutorial reach the Chinese audience. Follow the latest news on this tutorial on Yihu in order to catch it upon its release. I will see you in the lesson, and until then, stay tuned! Shishi